Earlier, I wrote an equation uh, to determine which numbers were prime. Somebody asked me what is the benefit of the equation I wrote uh, instead of using just, an in, uh, just dividing um, every number between 2 and that given number and determine if, if, uh, if it's divisible by any number whether it's prime or not. Um, the difference between a function and an equation I explained is that an equation has a lot of benefits in that you could use it to do formal proofs, you could use it to def derive other features, other properties of primes. I'm actually going to show you how I used the equation I came up with to to determine which are the twin primes, and which are the sexy primes, or which are um, primes of uh, twin uh, any pair of primes of uh, any given distance in between. So. Uh, an equation is great in that you could do formal proofs and that you could manipulate it to get other features, but it's not necessarily the optimal way for a computer to check whether a number is prime. So I decided to write a function to tell you which is a pretty optimal way of, of determining prime numbers. I decided to use Pascal because Pascal is a very descriptive language. Now this is a very brief explanation. I'm going to probably put up a video explaining in more detail what every part of the the function is doing. Okay, uh, first of all, n is the number we want to check for, whether it's prime or not. I start by assuming that the number is prime, and then I go through, through a series of tests to exclude the number if it's not prime. So I start off by assuming the number is prime. Uh, my first test is if the number is less than 2, it's definitely not prime. Um, that I'm aware of negative numbers are not prime, 0 and 1 is not prime. So automatically, um, if it's less than 2, the test is over. Right away it says false, it's not a prime number. My next test, I do it if the number is greater than 3. Uh, why do I do it if the number is greater than 3? Because 2 and 3 itself are primes. So if, if the number is 2 or 3, we know it's prime. If it's greater than 3, then I run this test. This what this test does is check if the number is even. If the number is even, it's not prime because, as we know, the only prime even number is two. Every other number uh, that is even is not considered prime since it's divisible by two. So if the number is even, right away the test is over. It's false. It's not prime. My next test is if the number is greater than 5. Uh, 5 is a prime number, so we don't need to do anything with that. If the number is 5, it's automatically true. If it's greater than 5, then I'm going to run this very nice little test, which helps me which helps me uh, throw out a lot of numbers right off, right off the beginning without running any, any further tests. Uh, I know, and I'll explain this in a more detailed video later on, that all prime numbers are of the form 6k plus or minus 1, k being uh, an integer. Um, so if um, if the number that's, if the given n number cannot fit into this form of 6k plus or minus 1, then I know it's not prime. That's what this uh, is doing here. Um, I divide by 6 and I round the number to get my k. Then a test is 6k minus 1 or 6k plus 1, uh, the form which n falls in. If not, test n, I know it's not prime. Great. This actually helps me exclude a lot of numbers right off the beginning. Now, let's say we do pass all these tests, the numbers of the form 6k plus 1, the numbers not 2 or 3, etc. Now, we actually have to actually do... Um, take the number and divide it by a series of number to find out if if it is divisible. Um, if it is divisible by that number, then it's not prime. If it's not divisible by every number of tests, then I know it's prime. Um, I know, and this is something that I will explain in a more um, detailed video later on, that if I'm giving the number 100, the number 1,000, the number 25, I don't have to check if the numbers if, if all the numbers between 2 and 100 and 1,000 or 25 are divisible by, by that given number. Um, 
this I'll explain later, but you actually only have to check the square root of that number, which helps reduce the number of checks a great deal. So if, um, if I'm giving the number 100, 101 or whatever, I don't actually have to test um, the first two, the numbers between 2 to 100 to see if they are divisible by, um, by that given number. I only have to check the, f the square root of the number. So if I'm giving the number 100, I only have to, the square root of 100 is 10. I only have to check the first 10 number. If, the, if, if it's divisible by any of those numbers, I know it's not prime. I don't have to check anything else. If, it's, if I'm giving 25, the square root of 25 is 5. I only have to check the first five numbers, which is great. You know, I'm, I'm actually reducing the number of checks quite a bit, and which helps speed things up. I'll explain later on why this is true. Um, I had a one to the square root because uh, officially um, my loop here, the check should be p k less than or uh, p is less than or equal to k. I put less than, so I just added one to make sure that it checks k. Doesn't matter. I could have just removed the plus one and, and and left and make this less than or equal to k. This that would have probably been a little bit more readable, but doesn't really matter. Um, the first number I'm going to try to divide my number by is 3. Why? Uh, on top, I already uh, uh, check if the number is 2. I already made it um, true. Um, I All even numbers are already excluded, so I know that, that whatever k is, it's not going to be an even number. So I don't have to check by 2. I could start checking by 3 because... Uh, that uh, I'm only going to check for odd numbers. Um, I know that if uh, my n had a, a factor of 2 in it, then n has to be even. But no even n is going to get to this point because I already said that all even numbers are automatically excluded. So I could um, start checking at 3 instead of 2. And also I don't have to check any even number in my loop. I could just check add numbers, so that actually reduces things quite a bit more. Uh, instead of checking uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I could just uh, check 3, 5, 7, you know, I could just check the uh, add numbers instead of the even number. So that reduces the, the number of checks uh, a lot. I reduce it by 5. So not only, let's say my number was 100, not only do I not have to check the the uh, 100 values, I only have to check 10 values because of the square root, which is great. I cut that in half by not checking the even numbers, so I, uh, so I cut that to pr approximately 5 or actually less than 5 checks. So this routine here um, is going to start with 3. It's going to perform a check to see if uh, the number divides, if 3 divides into my number. If it uh, doesn't divide into my number, then my number is still prime. If it does divide, my number is not prime. Obviously, uh, if, my num if n is prime, it will not be divisible into any number. Um, the next number I check is actually going to be uh, 3 plus 2. So again, I'm cutting down my checks from for, for the case of uh, 100 from 10 to approximately 5 because I'm actually checking every other number. So this is a very good algorithm. Um, there were other tests. Uh, there's a test where you could do like uh, 2 to the no number minus 1, uh, mod that number should give you 0. Um, I forget what the name of this test is. Um, if I if uh, if I uh, do if if I could quickly check if a number is prime or not by raising it to the power of two and then modding it with by by that by by a, by a number, that's pretty much just like one test, and I could exclude a lot of number. The only problem with us that is that two to the power of a hundred, two to the power of a thousand blows up pretty quickly. And um, in a computer program, to to uh, uh, in a computer uh, program, except, uh, especially this one, which is a 64-bit machine, um, 
you could get overflow pretty quickly. So there's a lot of tests out there, a lot of quick pri uh, uh, prime tests, which are not um, practical to implementing computers. <coughs> Because, um, like on this machine, it's a 64-bit machine, so two to the to any number greater than 65 would not be practical. Uh, so, so like I said, there's a lot of tests out there which help you uh, not have not, uh, test whether a number is prime without having to go through this loop. Not practical for a computer program. Okay. So this is my test. Uh, I'm giving the number. I check if the number is less than two. Uh, I check if the number is even. I check if the number forms in, in the form of 6K plus one. If it passes all that, I only have to check if it's divisible by the square root of that number. And even that, I don't have to check for all the numbers. I just have to check for the odd numbers. So I could re even reduce that. So my final check will be square root of n divided by 2. I could actually um, optimize this a little bit more by taking the fact that, that I only have to check the numbers of 6k plus or minus uh, 1, meaning that um, I could actually skip a little bit more than two numbers if I, if I wanted to, but I didn't think it was much benefit to that. Okay, so here we go. So this is my equation. Now I'm going to check for all the numbers between 0 and this big number. And it's going to tell me whether the number is prime or not. Let me run this. Let me pause it for a minute. Okay. So I ran the, the routine a little bit. And the routine is, is uh, telling me that all these numbers are prime. Let's check if, if it's doing it true. Uh, I paused it at this point, and it's saying 29, 46, 47 is a prime number. Uh, let's check if that is true. The number given was 29, 46, 47. 29, 46, 47. Is it a prime? Yes, it is a prime. Let's pick another number. This, let's run it a little bit longer. Let's pause it. Okay, another number is 79, 75, 51. Let's check that number's prime. 79, 75, 51. 79, 79, 75, 51, 79, 75, 51, is this number prime? Yes, it's a prime number. So the equation obviously works. I could keep on just running it. And it's checking all the numbers pretty quickly. Um, it'll actually go into the, the six digits, ten digits pretty fast. It's a pretty good routine. Uh, to check whether all the numbers are, are prime. So this is it. This is a simple equation uh, that tests if numbers are prime. There was a lot of other optimizations uh, I could have done, but um, um, a lot of the equation included raising uh, the number to a certain power, and uh, it couldn't be done with real numbers. It had to be done with uh, integers since you were taking the month. And from a computer point of view, it's, it was very practical since the the value exploded. So this is uh, pretty much uh, a pretty optimal equation to check if a number is prime. I'm actually going to put up another video explaining in detail why uh, all the prime numbers are of the form 6k plus 1, why you only have to check the square root of uh, n values to determine if a number is prime. I'm going to explain why um, this all of these things are true. But right now, I just wanted to put up the, the function. Uh, for a 64-bit computer, um, this is a pretty optimal function. Um, this, uh, like I said, there's a lot of other tests. 
but they were not practical for 64 uh, bit machines since the test required you raising the numbers to a certain power which would uh, create a kind of overflow it would explode in in its size and uh, since uh, uh, we had to actually use an integer not a real number it was not a practical solution so this is uh, what i've determined right now to be a pretty optimal method to check for prime numbers now i'm going to go back to the equation later on and i'm going to show you why the equation is actually good for mathematical point uh mathematical methods of uh, getting derivative and, ch and determining other features of primes um, so that's it this is this quick little video is just to show you a, a, an optimized method of prime um, I'm actually going to put a more detailed video a more detailed remake of this video explaining in detail why uh, it's 6k plus w plus or minus one the form of all prime numbers why you ha only have to check the square root etc etc thank you and bye